Imagine waking up to a world where everything, the streets, buildings, even your coffee cup, glitters in gold. Each year, over 4,000 tons of gold are mined worldwide, and enough to blanket the entire city of San Francisco in pure gold. Gold, a symbol of wealth, power, and eternity, has fascinated humanity for over 6,000 years. Scientists believe gold was born in the fiery heart of supernovae, ancient stellar explosions billions of years ago. Those cosmic fragments carried gold to Earth, embedding it deep within our planet's crust. Today, miners chase those traces, spikeless, hidden deep underground or scattered across riverbeds. But how does gold travel from the depths of the Earth to the bars you see in vaults and jewelry stores? Let us uncover the extraordinary process that transforms raw rock into one of the most valuable materials on Earth. Gold has long symbolized immortality. So, from Egyptian pharaohs to modern banks. Nations stockpile gold, not just for beauty, but to secure their economies against global crises. The gold reserves of a nation represent financial strength and trust. Unlike most metals, gold never rusts or corrodes, a perfect symbol of permanence. Its unique luster and malleability make it ideal for fine craftsmanship. But every gram of gold begins deep within the planet, torrent, hidden in veins of ore. Modern gold mining happens in both open pit and underground operations. In underground mines, workers descend into mazes of tunnels carved through hard rock. Diamond-tipped drills bore through ancient rock to locate gold-bearing veins. Explosives are carefully placed to break apart massive rock sections. A single blast can reveal tons of ore containing traces of gold. Heavy excavators gather the fractured stone and load it onto trucks or conveyor belts. In underground systems, lifts carry tons of ore to the surface for processing. In open pit mines, the scale is even greater. Entire hillsides removed to expose gold layers. These trucks can carry up to 400 tons in one trip, with wheels taller than a human. Each load moves closer to the plant, where stone becomes powder, and powder becomes gold. First stop, the crusher, where giant steel jaws break ore into smaller fragments. These pieces, about 15 to 20 centimeters wide, travel on conveyor belts for further grinding. Inside the ball mill, steel balls tumble endlessly, pulverizing rock into fine powder. The fine material passes through vibrating screens. Oversized pieces return for regrinding. The powdered ore mixes with water and cyanide, a process that dissolves gold from the rock. As demonstrated by the formula, Gold reacts with cyanide and oxygen to form the gold cyanide complex. Filters and carbon columns capture the dissolved gold, leaving waste rock behind. At this stage, gold exists in microscopic form, invisible to the naked eye. As a chemical agent like zinc or charcoal pulls the gold out of solution. The result is a damp golden sludge, ready for melting and refining. Gold melts at 1,064 degrees Celsius Preisturik, transforming into liquid brilliance. Molten gold is carefully poured into molds, forming uniform ingots. Every pour must be smooth, 
any air bubble could ruin an entire bar. Bars cool under controlled air or water jets to harden the metal quickly. After cooling, each ingot is polished to perfection. The rotary trimmer engages, shaving micro-thin layers. This meticulous process guarantees dimensional perfection for every gold bar. Some gold is rolled into wafer-thin sheets per house, used in electronics or gilding. Others are stretched in the fine wires for medical and aerospace use. Each investment grade bar receives a unique serial number via laser engraving. Hallmarks verify purity from 90.5% up to 99.99% .99 gold. X-ray fluorescence analysis confirms the exact composition of each bar. Only bars meeting strict purity and weight standards are certified for trade. Other batches are remelted for artistic creation, the jewelry we treasure. Minting facilities stamp gold coins and medals with intricate designs. These markings give gold products authenticity and value recognition worldwide. Even today, gold can still be found in nature resting along rivers and streams. Over centuries, erosion carries small flakes from mountain deposits downstream. Traditional gold panners use simple trays to separate gold from sand. Gold's weight allows it to settle at the bottom while lighter soil washes away. With patience and technique, Anyone can find traces of this ancient metal. Sometimes, lucky prospectors still uncover pure gold grains glinting in sunlight. Each speck tells a story, a fragment of cosmic history resting in your palm. From galaxies to rivers, gold's journey never truly ends. Before certification, each bar's weight and dimensions are meticulously verified. Each bar has a digital trace. Only then it gets its hallmark. Flawless bars, ready for banks and investors. From raw rock to refined brilliance, gold powers economies, preserves fortunes, and decorates our most precious moments. Every civilization has cherished its eternal glow, yet gold's story continues. From the heart of the earth to the heart of civilization, gold connects both. Would you have imagined that the path to a single bar was so extraordinary? Tell in comments.